Oh, wow, okay. Oh, why can't I do this? <coughs> this is embarrassing. This is just too good. Well, we're doing this again. Hello everyone, I hope you're all well. I know it's literally only been three months since my last room makeover, but my plans have changed. I thought I would be going to uni this year, but I'm taking a gap year. And if I can't control what's going on in my life, I can at least control my surroundings because I know I'm not the only one who impulsively changes their room every few months to cope with big changes in their life. They can't control, so they change their surroundings in order to healthily cope, potentially, maybe. <sighs> I'm doing fine. I need to stop being so depressing. I'm maybe only doing this so I can actually like feel productive because I've literally just been in bed crocheting, re-watching Twilight. So arguably that's also productive, but like not in the way I want it to be. I literally just want this space to feel comforting again because I haven't felt comfort in my room for a really long time. It's always messy. I always just have crap everywhere. This is like the tidiest it's been in months. The main reason I'm deciding to redo this now is because my wardrobe space is like practically non-existent. These little DIY clothes rack here. I get asked about it all the time, but I'm sorry, I really can't tell you where I got it from because I made it myself. And like my shoe situation as well. It's just, it's a mess. I love my clothes, so I want to make sure they have a space that respects them. So I got a new clothes rail that's apparently six foot tall. So I don't know how my five foot two ass is gonna like reach anything on top of it, but hopefully it will be big enough to store the amount of clothes that have magically just appeared in my wardrobe out of nowhere. Definitely not due to my online thrifting addiction. So I'm gonna try and build this thing on my own. Yeah. situation we're dealing with right now. Instructions is probably a good place to start. Oh my god, it came with gloves. What? Do I need to wear gloves for this? <laughs> Why did it come with gloves? What is going on? What? I think I've organised it now. It took a while, but install A in the middle of B1 and B2 in the bottom hole position. It doesn't tell me how I install it. Okay, okay, I think I know, I think I know, I think I've got it. So I know like every fashion influencer vlogger has the white one from Ikea. But I just really, I love wooden furniture. I just think it looks cooler. Because it goes with my plants, it goes with that whole like bow shoot. Oh, hell yeah. I did that. And now I have to do it again with multiple different layers. It's moments like this where I hate being stubborn because I insist on doing things by myself. If I drop this key one more time, <gasps> that did not sound good, but I think it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's partly done. And that only took me 10 minutes. Now, question is, do I make part two separately or do I add it on top? What's easier? You know what, I'm thinking I'm gonna do it separately. It is now time to attach the knobs to this lovely strip of wood that we have going on here. Just gotta hold the knob in place and screw it in. This is a lot harder than it looks. I literally, okay, I'm sorry, I can't help myself. I have come to the conclusion that I am not going to be putting the knobs in this one because it was too difficult and my hand hurts too much. This, yeah. So I've done the two pieces here. I think I'm gonna move the current setup now so I can just put this in. I cannot find the Allen key. I do not know where it has gone. It's probably under that like pile of clothes. Ah, no, found it. The plant hid it. Okay, 
Finally, it is done. Another day, another sweatshirt, another iced coffee. Every day is the exact same. So I haven't left the house in about four days and it's making me feel like crap. So I'm gonna go shop for new room decor. I'm probably gonna go to the child shops and maybe home sense. Cause sometimes there's good stuff there. I kind of want to see if I can upcycle anything. I don't know what kind of things I'm looking for specifically. So basically if I like it, it's coming home with me. Simple. I also kind of want to get a salt lamp because my sister has one and I like licking it. Uh, so I want to get my own. So I guess I'll take you with me now and then we'll have a haul when I get back. on this is horrible basically that trip was incredibly disappointing i only got this basketball shaped plant pot and a plant to go in it that's it but i did manage to get my uh himalayan salt rock i know they're like really basic now but i feel i needed it for my room anyway because of the disappointing lack of fun interior decorations in the trad shops i'm just gonna go on ebay and order a bunch of things it is a few days later, but I have cocooned myself in this jumper, so I'm wearing it again. So I ordered a bunch of new prints for my room because I was getting kind of sick of the ones that I have at the moment. I just want to switch up for autumn. I want the darker, grungier, cooler prints. Basically, I just changed my mind far too much. But to be fair, a lot of these prints I spent a lot of money on. So hopefully I'm actually going to keep them for a little bit longer than like a few months. Hopefully. I find my prints using Pinterest. I have a whole Pinterest board called Prints. So if you want to go check that out, it'll be linked in the description. Then I use Photobox large prints to print the prints. I get a worrying amount of questions in my video asking me how I stick stuff on my walls. Like guys, blue tack. Do some countries not have blue tack? Is that just a British thing? You're confusing me. And then I did also get a nice new big poster, which I haven't opened yet. Where are my scissors? Ooh. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. I don't know why I needed that giant box. It's only this big. Look at her. Uh, I am probably gonna put you somewhere over there but no she's pretty cool then here are just a few of the larger prints that i got and then i also got a bunch of little ones like there's loads here you can definitely tell the theme i'm going for i also have a bunch of like mini records that i'm gonna stick on the wall because i'm a basic indie piece of shit and i'm really pretentious these are actually little coasters i have no idea where i got them from now it is time to take down these lovely displays and make it a lot better I don't know if you're like me or not, but I really struggle with making wall collages because number one, I can never get the print straight. Like I don't know how other people do it. Like I can never get it straight first time. And secondly, I don't know what goes with what. So normally I pick a center print and kind of work around it rather than just trying to dot things on the wall. I find that's kind of useful. I kind of have a method here, kind of not. Take advice at your own risk. Okay, so weird camera angle, I know, but I actually ordered some artificial vines and I really wanted to recreate this kind of draping thing like in this photo here because I've never had an original thought and I just steal ideas. Let's go. So as you can see here, I'm attempting to drape these fake vines and I'm doing it horribly right now. I thought a lot of condensed and short drapes near the middle would look a lot better, but they didn't. Basically, to get the better effect, you're going to want to have more spaced out longer drapes that are more condensed in the corner and then slowly get more and more sparse. It just looks more natural and it looks a lot better. As you can see, I did a much better job here. So there's my tip. 
it is the next day and I'm wearing my pajamas and my boyfriend's sweatshirt yes and of course coffee so if you've been watching my videos for a while you know that this lovely area here is where the magic happens all my sewing crochet supplies and everything this it's all here i don't really want to change too much about it i did add this like moon post up here which is pretty cool but you can't really see it but you get the point essentially it just needs a little bit of a tidy and a little bit of an organize so that is what i'm gonna do This also came today, and I think I know what it is, but we're gonna open it together. Wait, what is this? <laughs> so this was one of my impulse purchases, but I decided to buy a mini disco ball for my bedroom because you can't be depressed when you have a disco ball in your bedroom. My medication says otherwise, but still. Oh my gosh. She's perfect. As I said, you can't be depressed when you have a disco ball in your room. It's just too... This is just too good. Wait, guys, are you seeing this? Can you see? Oh. It's, doing, it's doing the thing. I think this is the best, like, $6.99 I've ever spent. Yeah, I skate. What about it? Joking. I don't. You may be sat here wondering, B, why do you have a skateboard? Well, friends, I will tell you why I have a skateboard. It is because I saw a TikTok, like most of the decisions I make in my life, and it was of this like skateboard table, and I genuinely thought that was like one of the coolest bits of room decor I have ever seen. So I wanted to make my own. I literally just got this one off eBay. It was maybe only 12 pounds. This may be a really bad brand, it was just the cheapest one I could find, so there's that. To make the skateboard into a table, I bought four of these little like hairpin legs they're called, and hopefully I can just attach them to the skateboard and then I will have a cool skateboard table. In theory, this is what the legs need to look like, but I don't exactly know how I want to attach them. There's no way I'm going to be screwing it in, I might glue it. This is like the laziest DIY. <laughs> Thankfully, an opportunity arose for me to be lazy because the screws that came with the table legs were just too long for the deck of the board. So this meant that I had an excuse to cut corners and glue it instead. I decided to use a wood glue as I thought that would be the best option as you know, like the deck is wood, but the legs aren't wood. So I was like hoping and praying. To prep the board, I also spent a really long time sanding it down. I also sanded the legs as well, just so the glue had like something to grip onto. Basically after a ton of sanding, I just drizzled the glue on the table legs and stuck it to the deck and just hoped for the best. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not like a proper DIY channel. Someone is probably screaming at me in the comments. Yes, I'm using a ukulele clamp to secure this. Sometimes you gotta make do and that's all I had. Okay, so I've left this for about like three hours now. I've taken all the clips off. Nothing is moving so that's good moment of truth i have a skateboard table look how sick this thing looks look at that i did that and it's like pretty sturdy i'm only gonna be putting plants on it really high five me i did i did an excellent job
Straight up, I genuinely think this is one of the coolest things I've ever made. Like, look at this. See, on this channel, we just wing things, hope for the best, and somehow it works out. So, luck. Everyone's gonna start doing this now. I'm just thinking about all the comments I'm gonna get saying poser now. No one was using this deck, okay? And I wanted to make a table out of it to put dumb stuff on, okay? Can you read? <laughs> Welcome. Oh, by the way, I forgot to say, I got my braces off today. So that's why I'm like looking at myself in the phone rather than the camera. They feel really slimy and I feel like they're too big for my face, but apparently everyone feels that. Yeah, they do. But yeah, this is weird. Like I feel different, well, like, obviously, cause I've just had two years worth of metal taken off my teeth, but still. I always get questions about this bedding. It's from Ikea like four years ago. Basically, if you had a 2017 Art Ho Tumblr phase, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but if you missed that, you missed this bedding. My desk and plant area is like kind of insane. There is a lot of plants, but I love owning about a thousand plants. So you're gonna have to just deal with it. Ola is currently making her way over to the sunlight because she likes to bask in the sunlight. She is a goddess amongst mortals. I just love her little head, like, look. Oh, it's so cute! I still am just in love with this little table. I think it is so sick. Like, yes. And then all my new wall art! Look at this! And if you watch my TikToks, I hate that I just said that, but you know what I mean? This is where I film them. God, I'm embarrassed. <clears throat> and then here is all my like above bed print situation going on. Encapsulates the vibes I was going for. She is just so enjoying the sunlight. I'm getting so distracted. <laughs> but see like this bad boy, he is doing so well. He looks, he looks gorgeous. On my clothes rail here, I basically am just storing my jumpers and jackets and things like that for more like autumnal wear and then everything that's not outerwear is in my little wardrobe over there but for now all my jumpers and stuff are there famous tiktok jacket gotta be on display i hate myself too don't worry i just think it's really nice and cozy in here again like that was the kind of feel i wanted i wanted it to be like cozy and just not a chaotic mess but we achieved that so that is good i do have a new little filming corner as well if you know when i film like my talking and sit down videos i like to sit in a corner because i also cry in that corner maybe that was too much information but it's a good crying corner it's a corner of many talents i don't know why i'm going on about it so much there's my bed with my plushies even though i am an adult i still have arguably too many builder bears for someone my age but yeah, that is my room now. So yeah, that is my room and my room tour done. I hope this gave you some inspo. I hope this gave you some motivation to tidy your room or like just revamp it a little bit. Trust me, it is so therapeutic. It's made me feel a lot better. I, I feel more content in this space now. So, and now I have a cool bedroom that I can show off on the internet. Upgrades, people, upgrades. Sorry, I cannot stop looking at my teeth like, they don't have bits of metal on them. It's insane. See, I started this video with a messy room and metal squares on my teeth and I ended it with an awesome bedroom and straight teeth. So I think you gotta hit that like button and subscribe. Just saying. <laughs> there will be a crochet video very soon. It is in the editing works right now. There is just a little bit more that I have to do and then she will be done. Also, let me know what other videos you want to see in the comments down below. I cannot think of what other things that YouTubers say, even though I technically kind of am one, but like not really, but hopefully, you know. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. YouTube things, YouTube things. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.